This is my miniature donkey engine. It was built by a gentleman in uh, New England trade school. He was an instructor there. He done a crackerjack job of building this here thing. I bought it from my my good friend. Uh, he's on uh, YouTube and he displays a lot of his uh, items. His name is uh, Red Rider. If you want to see his displays, look up Red Rider. Uh, he has some fantastic displays. But this engine can either be run on steam or on air. You can see the engine running now. I'm running off of a residual supply of air, so I don't have too much air that I can run it with. I'll shut it off and explain some of the things that are on this engine. It, uh, you can see, let me get that back in focus here. See the small uh, oil, oil cups that are on there? Goodness gracious, uh, they're, they're tiny and they're all over the place. This guy done a really good job of building this here thing. Uh, let me rotate it around and I'll explain some of the things that we have on here. In the back of the, on the side of the engine where the, where the fireman would stand, you got the firebox there. The firebox door. And has even has a little working uh, uh, draft door on it that you can adjust. Uh, below that is the burner if you were going to use uh, LP gas. There's a burner coming up underneath the bottom. Right now I'm using air, so air's coming in here and uh, going up to the to the side of the boiler. Uh, if I was going to use steam, I'd plug that up and put the water in the boiler through this line right here. It has 19 3 8 diameter uh, copper boiler tubes and uh, they're silver soldered in plates. Here's the water level gauge with a pressure relief valve at the top there. You can see that. There's also two inside, right underneath this cap here, that uh, you can't see them now, but they're set about uh, 50 pounds. I think I had this one set about 35, 40 pounds. I'll rotate it around and you can see the uh, displacement oiler right there. Here, and there's the throttle control right there for the operator. It would have a brake handle right here and the brake shoe there going onto the flywheel. This uh, brass controller knob controls underneath the uh, underneath the engine. You see, if it, when you start it up, you get uh, condensate, so you can't compress water, so you got to blow that out. So it's like a blowback blow-by valve. Uh, my exhaust goes up and into the uh, stack to give it draft. Over to this side you can see the pressure gauge there. And of course to signal the, the men that, you're, that are felling the trees, you got this here whistle that the operator would, would push. Uh, it, it uh, like I said, it is really well made. I'm going to show you some of those tiny little, look at that right there, right there. I don't want it to go out of focus, but right there in the center of the picture now, it's a little oiling cup. And they're all over this here thing. Uh, I put on this uh, roof. I think they would have had a roof on there to so make it a little more comfortable when they're, when they're working. And also, I put on a uh, a, a stack uh, cap because I think that if uh, they were in the woods using this it would have uh, 
threw a lot of sparks out there and you could burn your yarding area down. The donkey engines were used to uh, uh, bring wood in from the, the yarding, uh, from the, uh, the, where they were felled up into the yard and also used to winch up the, uh, the logs onto the trucks to go into the uh, sawmills. Uh, thank you for watching.